on Thursday, 14th November 2019, an outreach was made to two communities in the Ningo Pram Pram area. The team visited the basic schools in Anyam and New Ningo to donate sanitary pads for use by female students in the community. The team comprising people from Millennium Promise Alliance, together with Reset Global and its partners, first stopped at New Ningo DA Basic School to carry out this exercise. They were welcomed by the headmistress of the school who convened an assembly of students to listen to the team. Some of the reports I've gotten from some of the teachers is that some of them cannot afford the sanitary pack, so they have to resort to other um, um, materials that are not uh, so hygienic for them to keep themselves up. I think once in our meeting as teachers we discussed it and we even thought of how to come up to help these girls so that they can get themselves good uh, sanitary pads so that during these time periods of their lives they can properly take care of themselves. Yes, yeah, so I think this intervention is quite timely because we discussed it not quite long and then you people, you guys are coming in with this intervention. So we so much uh, welcome it. It is it's going to help them. Madam Phyllis Quenye here from Research Global in her opening address asked the student to aspire to greater height and urge the female students to make it their priority to stay in school. She emphasized that it was of utmost importance that they get educated to enable them contribute their quota to the development of their communities and Ghana as a whole. She used Bernice, a pupil that is 17 and still in school, as an example and urged all students to emulate her and get educated no matter their age. These girls from age about 10 years old, they have their period but they don't have the tools to use to make them comfortable so they can be in class and study to build their future. So we're here to make sure that they have those tools. Um, we won't be able to do it all today but it's a, a big project that eventually we want to get to every single girl. Ope Abednego Brandy from Millennium Promise Alliance spoke to the students about the sustainable development goals and the work done at NPA. The address also focused on how important young people are to the attainment of the global goals by 2030. At Millennium Promise Alliance, we are very passionate about sustainable development goals. And here, we are here to achieve SDG Goal 4, which speaks about quality education. And we also want to ensure gender equality. So we want to keep the girl child in school. The team then proceeded to share the sanitary towels after separating the males from the females. Each student had at least two packs of sanitary pads each. Thereafter, the girls were given a talk on menstrual hygiene by a team from the University of Ghana Medical Students Association. Today we came here to educate the girls basically about how to use the sanitary pads. Someone may ask why is it important to use these pads and how can we keep on making sure that the ladies use it. You see as ladies growing up there is that importance for them to have sanitation at heart especially when it comes to their hygiene. So we came here to teach them how to use the pad to make sure that they are protected from infections because if you don't protect yourself very well when you are in the menstrual period, you can have infections at hand. So it is important that we educate them on how to use the pads, how to ensure that they are clean when they are in their menstrual period. This goes on to promote the SDG Goal 3, which promotes good health and well-being. The students were shown how to use the pads how to prepare them for disposal and how to properly dispose them. The most important thing for us and me as a woman is how we can sustain this. And we all know that the SDGs is an, a great initiative for us to sustain everything that will help benefit or help every individual to become a better person in our community, in our country, in our continent. And so the sustainability is what I'm very concerned about. And so we are going to make it a point to sustain this because there's a lot to do. At least we've started something. So we know our government is really going to take this seriously because they are very concerned about the SDGs, okay? They want to see the youth act. And so we will continue to do this amazing job that we're doing. The male students were treated to snacks and water from the Twilliam and Werner Foundations. 
there is a kokojima a jhs3 pupil was also grateful to the team for the donation of the sanitary pads and indicated that period poverty was an issue faced in the community okay and you were trained on how to use the sanitary pads what did they say they said we will lay it in our panties in the morning when we wake up we have to change it so when we are coming to school we'll put it in our bags when we come in it's second break we can go and change it and bath twice daily with some students turning to unhygienic ways including using paper to stay clean when menstruating she was hopeful the donation and education given will go a long way in stemming that we enjoy the program very well. I'm happy they came to this school yes. because some oh. some girls when they are doing menstruation they use um, paper. Rag. Rag. No, towel. Some no. of them use rag. Stop. I, I was very happy because I have here how to keep yourself clean. So I'm so happy that they came to this school to help us. Why? Why are you happy? <laughs> because some girls. They will go to the boyfriends and go and collect money and they, they will use them before they will give them money to go and buy the, their parts. Have your friends been doing that? Please, no. Some of them. Some of them. Yes. Maybe they will do it, but we want to go not tell us. Yes, it's we, a secret for them. to tell you, but it's a secret. It's a secret. <laughs> silence, yes. You, you <laughs> do it silence. You will not let anybody to know that you are doing this thing. At Anyem, the team was welcomed by Madame Rosina Lawete, who is the assistant headmistress of the school. From our own investigation, they use, excuse me to say, rags, clothes, uh, cloth, uh -huh, rags or cloth, handkerchiefs to do the menstruation, which is it's not hygienic, if we should say. So if you are here and you have taken it as an initiative to be following up, checking on them, trying to present such a, a donation, in fact, it's going to help us as, a teach, as teachers, yes. After her address, the team proceeded to repeat what was done in the first school. The girls were given at least two packs of sanitary pads plus education on menstrual hygiene and the boys were fitted to snacks. Period poverty has been described by globalcitizen.org as the lack of access to sanitary products, menstrual hygiene, education, toilets, hand washing facilities, and or waste management. Um, and that's why we had to do this. We had to do this for the sheer fact that we're human. We had to do this for the sheer fact that people need help. And if you're in the position to provide them, then you actually should. Um, so as you can see behind, it's like, uh, this is the second school that we've come to. We, were, we did one earlier. Um, and, and the need is greater than the supply and that's why we need everybody's involvement. That's why I'm excited that uh, Millennium Promise Alliance is with us um, on this journey both for the projects that we're doing and the summit and everything else and we're throwing out a call to everybody. Uh, we cannot do it alone. We need you, we need you and we need everybody. Millennium Promise Alliance is very grateful to its partners who worked with us on this outreach. We believe aside keeping the girl child in school this outreach fulfills SDG Goal 3, which speaks about good health and well-being, and also SDG Goal 4, which focuses on quality education.